Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and behind me stands Dragon Agheel, who just flew flew in from the skies, decimated some uh, some other enemies for me, and now he's waiting to kill me. Uh, real quick, as always, let's take a look at the stats. If you want to see it for any longer, go ahead and hit pause now. Level 20, he is maybe advancing towards me. Um, take a look at my equipment, just in case it um, hasn't been clear. I'm wondering if maybe, because it doesn't seem like Agheel is taking much magic damage, maybe I should bring this back to normal um i'm just watching to see if he's actually <laughs> advancing so i do have the flame drake talisman that'll help with fire damage negation i could use the what was it here it is the uh, fireproof dried liver <laughs> such a weird thing to say in order to get more fire damage protection um but also one thing that i want to take a look at and i'm going to go to kind of the tutorials Oh, you know, I never actually looked at these, did I? Is he? he he's activated. Flying Dragon Egg Heal is activated. We'll take a look at that um, in a minute. Let's, um... <laughs> oh, fit. Oh, it just kept going. Well, that maybe just bought us some time. That might actually be okay, though, because we can revive instead of at the stake of America. We will go to the last side of Grace, and I'm going to change my Ashes of War back to a, just a normal... A normal straight sword. Absolutely gorgeous. This game is gorgeous. I'm hearing a lot of people talk about how this is a game that runs like a PS2 game on a PS3. I guess I don't know what game you're playing, but it can't be this one because this game is stunning for the open world aesthetic that it uh, that it's going for. But let's rest. Let's go to Ashes of War. I'm gonna go to my straight sword. Um, I'm actually going to go back to Storm Stomp, and we will just do standard. Yeah. For now. For now. There's that. Um, what else do we want to do? Oh, right. We were going to look at the tutorial. I wanted to look at the guard. The guard, what is it? Guard critical? There's guarding. Does this have anything more than... No. Guard counters, that's what it's called. You can perform a counterattack immediately after blocking enemy attack. So it just says immediately after blocking. It doesn't even say you need to get, like, a certain timing. But I don't... Hmm, I don't know. Like, I know that I've heard... I've actually heard the, the kind of the ding that to me would have indicated that it's, it's ready for a counter... But maybe I don't actually have to do it. Now is Eggheel still yeah, he's still he's still hanging out. We're not gonna spend the entire time trying to whittle him down because I just don't know that we are at a point where we are gonna be able to take him out feasibly. Alright, let's let's try this. Let's see if I can get hit by one of these bats. Well, nope. They're really terrible at actually hitting you, it seems. How about you? Oh, you went over my, my shield. Can we try this again? That was interesting. Oh, grab attack. And there's bleed. Okay. Hmm. Well, that was apparently the wrong enemy to test that on. <laughs> okay. Let's get in here. Let's go ahead and summon the imps from way back here. And hope they fought. Wow, they're slow. Oh, they're so very, very slow. Oh, I wonder if there's, hmm. Before we go and take on Ag Heal, can I just go over here and explore? Yeah, and there's a crab. Neat. Now, how much are you... Oh, there's some glowing stuff in there, too. You're just like the Dark Souls 3 crabs, aren't you? Does that mean I can also get a stagger if you do the big ol' attack? Like that one? And there's the grab. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and... Aw, oh, stupid mosquitoes. My poor imps. Oh, he's kind of looking at me. 
crab eggs and a strip of white flesh. And what do we have here? Trina's lily. Uh, Trina, I believe. Oh, criminy. I believe Trina's arrows are the sleep arrows. Now, <laughs> one of my imps is already dead. Can I actually? Yes, I can. I can run from battle. What is this, though? Whoa, it's a crab. What I want to try is, well, I want to get the repost there. Hmm. I I'm assuming that it would work. It's so weird that these eggs are targetable. Oh, hello, cave. Yep, getting sidetracked. Getting sidetracked. I'm okay with this. <laughs> Please be okay with it, too. Wow. I, I really just love how well open world works here. Limgrave tunnels. This may be a mistake. Almost certainly is. Let's, let's chug just in case. Oh, I just saw... I just saw another cave. Ah, we have a site. Beautiful. Let's touch it. I want to go back up. I think I saw a cave maybe I could roll to. Right here. Absolutely. Nice. Free item. Golden rune. Hey, that's, uh... How much is that worth? 800? But now what? <laughs> I'm supposed to make that drop? Oh, okay. Not too bad. And I'm not even gonna bother pulling the lever. I'm hearing a lot of clanging. Uh, looks like we have some miners down here. Yeah, I mean, this is like stone fang. You are very resistant. I'm gonna guess that maybe you're gonna be weak to magic. Hope you're weak to magic. You know, this could... Oh, I bet that guy's gonna drop upgrade materials. I bet this is just like Stonefang. Oh, one shot. Oh, you didn't. I was wrong. Oh, wait a minute. Quiet. Oh, smithing stones. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is fantastic. This is what I've been looking for. And I... Okay. Not true. Haven't really been looking much at all. Uh, I've been doing a terrible job looking. But this is just really exciting. Oh, yep. You are... Oh. You are very much like Stonefang individuals. Oh my gosh, this is great. I wonder how much I can actually get out of here. Oh, okay. Okay, similarly to the scale miners, it would appear that thrust does a little bit more damage. Uh, oh, right, magic. FP. Let's back up. Then, Glenstone Arc. Excellent. Oh, really, really enjoying this combination. Did I just get... No, I didn't get my flask back. Golden runes, though. I mean, that's an extra 200 runes just for killing a rat. I'm all right with that. Another smithing stone. Now, I wonder if, like the other catacombs, this will have a little boss at the end. I'd be super okay if it did, especially if it meant more upgrade materials. And we're going further down. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is going to be like one of those areas where the further down you go, the more dangerous it gets, isn't it? Oh, there's another area to drop down. 
or roll over to, which I'm going to go to right now. And I missed it. How'd I miss it? Was it? Oh, it's right here. Actually, could have gone from even... Wait. Oh, it's the other side. <laughs> Tug on it. Oh, please don't die. Or, counterpoint, do die. Now, the question that I have that may or may... You know what? You know what? I'm going to go back to magic. I love that you can just change this on the fly. I'm going to go back to magic. I'm going to do Ashes of War. I'm going to do Storm Stomp, and I'm going to change... Oh, okay. You have to choose a magical armament or a magical skill in order to do the magical build, which is fine. I think that actually... I think that makes sense. But now let's see what kind of damage I do to these miners. Let's try backstab. Yes, that's what I'm after. That's exactly what I'm after. Oh, wow. They are resilient. I was actually just bouncing off of them. You know what? I wonder if Hugh is from this, I don't know what you want to call it, tribe or group of individuals he kind of has that scaly stony skin well maybe not he was probably more more of your typical stone if you will not typical stone typical scales rather now oh shoot my runes are over there which looks like I can just walk down What's the best? I guess I have to make that roll or jump. Okay. So then the cave is on this side. Yes, indeed. All right, what do we got? Rush out for the backstab. No, 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 no. Beautiful. What do we get? Explosive stone. Okay, we'll take a look at that here in a moment. So, explosive stone. Now, is that an actual upgrade? No. So, it must have been a crafting material? Or not. It is... Oh, explodes when thrown, inflicting fire damage. Ooh, I'd love to farm those. Miners employ these as tools for rock blasting, but most have forgotten how to craft it. That's a bummer. Glintstone scrap. Okay. Break gem and use FP to produce a magic bolt. Piece of glintstone tinged with unstable magic found in crystal tunnels. A sorcerer wouldn't give it a second look. So it gives you the ability to cast sorceries without actually, uh, well, casting sorceries. That's cool. Oh, oh, they're a little, oh, you're a little stronger. And you're gonna drop something? Another explosive stone, that's exciting. I would love to farm some of these, actually. Might do that off camera. I haven't done any farming. Wow, we're still going further down. I haven't done any farming or anything off camera. Every single thing you've seen me do in this game has been uh, has been recorded. Real quick though, did I miss any mining spots? I'd hate to think I did. But it does not appear so. Oh, wait. Acquire materials, where? Oh, oh gosh, I'm just gonna have, 
they don't all glow. I have to kind of run along the walls and see if it pops up. Oh, no. And all of you are probably thinking, but blue, it's such an obvious color. Well, newsflash, I am colorblind. <laughs> so what's obvious to you may not be obvious to me. But if I see another one, I'll try and pay more attention to what it looks like. I think anytime they're clanging against the wall, I should probably pay pretty close attention. That's too far. This, however, is not. And this is how I get to that item. I'm going to run and jump again. Golden rune. Beautiful. Some sort of... Okay, somber smithing stone. Now that's different than the other one I got, right? Okay, it's the upgrade to the first one. For special armaments. Was there... I don't know if there was another cave or anything up there. We may have to take a look. Let's bring the elevator down. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm tempted. Doesn't look like it goes any further down. I am tempted to swap the jump and the interact button. I mean, that looks like it should be something right there. No? Okay. It color wise, it looks the same, but it does have that little crystalline shape. So I just have to be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm going to take a quick trip up the elevator. I just want to see if there's anything else I missed. Any any caves or shinies. Uh, there was... Well, that's just a light. So let's check. I feel like I'm missing something. Alright. Once more, this time with feeling. I'm going to look at this side. And there's a ledge here. And a ledge. But that's where I already went, right? Okay. I don't think there's anything else to be gotten, but I'm just going to... No. No. Wow. It's kind of like it's either fall damage or death. Very, very uh, similar to Demon Souls. All right, can I actually open this door? Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's one of these things again. Stone Digger Troll. Okay. Let's get under you. And what are you going to do? Whoa, a huge AoE. Oh, that's a bummer. But you know what? Oh, I just hit him in the face. I'm getting ready for the jump. Oh, I got some father, uh, Ariandel. Oh, boy. That somehow didn't do much damage. Oh, that did. Get up. And we run. Yeah, we're just going to finish him off with magic here. Oh, heavens. <laughs> okay, get behind him. And we have to finish with melee. Quick, quick, quick. Ha! Missed. die because I'm trying to be all fancy there we go that was terrible <laughs> terrible fight but he's dead and what do I get a roar medallion good I was wondering when I would get a roar medallion what is that for how many runes did I get not not that many certainly looks like there should be some stuff here right no upgrade materials no all right what is a roar medallion? What? I don't even know. I 
I don't even know what it was, like, where it went. Was it a key item? Was it a weapon? No. It's a talisman, okay. Enhances roars and breath attacks. Good to know. Guess what I don't have? Either of those. In ancient times, the giants were mortal enemies of the earth tree. Their bellowing roars desolated nature, triggered avalanches, and whipped up storms of flame. Okay. Well, I'm glad I came in here regardless. I mean, how many... Wait. That looks like something. It's not. It is not. Uh, how many stones did I get? Nine. I have nine. Oh, happy days. We are headed to... We want to go to round table? I want to go to round table because I want to check with the merchant there and kind of remind myself what the, the husk have for sale. Um, oh, wait. I don't have to go to a site of grace. Remind my, I gotta always remind myself I don't have to go back to a site of grace. Um, let's see. You know what? I might want to learn an incantation. But do I even have enough to wield this? No, I need 10 faith, so I need 3 levels in faith just to use that. So let's hold off. And so this is still open. You have nothing to say yet. Nope, still can't interact with you. Let's talk to the husk. The twin maiden husk, excuse me. I still don't have a bell bearing. I know, I just wanted to check. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's 4 thousand. That's so expensive. That is so expensive. Ooh, a bow. I think it's time to use a bow. I think it's time. 1,200 is not very much. I wouldn't mind grabbing some more of the stone sword uh, keys. Uh, you don't sell arrows, interestingly enough, but I believe... Oh, God. Ka Kale? I can never remember his name. The individual at the Church of Ella, I believe that um, that he sells arrows. Now I'm guessing if I try and interact with her, because I still have the Baldachine's blessing, I can't get another. I'm pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? The blessing is still a flame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held, regardless? Um, not right now. <laughs> Not right now. Although I probably should be using those, huh? If it's anything like the blood vials that you get in Bloodborne, like um, Yosefka's blood vial, you had to use three of them to get a unique piece of dialogue. So maybe, maybe we want to use these. I think I do. Let's actually kind of work on our hotbar a little bit. Let's keep the kukris. Um, I will keep the stanching boluses. I'm going to take those off. And I'm going to put Baldekin's Blessing on there. And I'm going to use the Mimic's Veil. I have an idea of when I may be able to make that effective. We'll see. Well, I took you for no matter lay out your Oh, and don't forget I can do Ash of War duplication if I have... Oh. About Roderick. Okay. Unique dialogue because Roderica has returned to Round Table Hole. Roderica, if you forgot, that's a young lady who was outside of Stormvale who wanted to be grafted, and I found the Chrysalid's memento and gave those to her. The garden boy here. She's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. Uh, Interesting. Spirit tuning. And there's another one like her, and the eyes share the same color. Well, that's not going to help because I can't tell color, but that's good to remember. One thing I guess I could do is think about selling, especially because I do have some duplicate armor pieces, right? Yeah. <laughs> good. A whopping 10. What about. I have three of these. Those are worth 100 a piece. I'm okay with that. All right. Yeah, it gives me something. So let's see. We're definitely going to do the straight sword. Not bad. Not bad at all. So four and six. Oh, I need one more. One more 
to get another boost. Pretty significant boost at that. But what I could do, though, is actually boost my bow up a little bit, which I think I will. I think that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm all right with that. And then we'll buy a bunch of arrows from our merchant at Church of Ella. In fact, let's go do that right now. Uh, actually, no, let's talk to Roderica. Let's see if I can get... I'd like to look at her eyes. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Okay. That's what color they are. Doesn't help. <laughs> Oh, all right. So more dialogue because I've talked to the blacksmith. Wow, it's really going to pay to talk to NPCs often. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift. I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. Cool. So she has a gift. Let's see if she has any more dialogue. I do have a talent for spirit tuning. And goodness knows that would be a surprise. I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh. Could it be that Witch Rena is actually the one that Hugh is referring to? All right. Any more? This is Dialos. Be sure to tell me if you meet Jesus, been my Okay. Class. Nothing new there. Ah, you will then. Brother Corin, you don't have anything new. I'm going to go just check really quickly with Hugh again. Which I went the wrong way, of course. And nope, that was the right way. You know, just real quick, do you have anything new? We've spoken long. Nope, not at all. So then the correct path is the one right behind Roderica. Back already, no matter. Yes, I can talk to him again. The girl. What about her? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. Hmm. So, let's go back to Roderick. <laughs> I'm okay with these kinds of NPC interactions, though. All right. Well, let's tell you what. Let's leave. Let's go to the Church of Ella. I'm going to spend some money on some arrows. Ooh, sleep arrows. We can also do sleep arrows. That's right. In fact, what do I need to craft some? Oh, I can't actually craft Trina's arrows. But I can craft arrows in general if I go hunt some beasts so storm wing bone arrows I have six of them each one makes ten I just need to go get some more beast bones and let's see that's 35 damage the storm wing arrows are 55 let's see what I can buy though well, you're back. there are others of my people who yet survive in these lands if the mood takes you when you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? My people, wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now, though the Elden Ring is shattered. I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the tarnished, and mine. Perhaps you don't need to hear this, but see that no harm comes to my kin. We have a saying, 
we wanderers. Lament not your solitude. Expect no sympathy, no regard, nothing. But if anyone dares harm us, show them no mercy. That is our code, so to speak. Just the way we are, deeply unforgiving. Okay, so uh, Kale definitely seems to be suggesting if I attack him, any other merchant I come across is also going to be hostile, which completely, completely makes sense. Now, this arrow is 45. I do have 20, and they're pretty cheap. Ooh, but I can buy some crack pots. I am actually going to buy all of his crack pots. I am going to buy the... Ooh, holy water pot. Yeah, I'm going to buy the missionary's cookbook. And I am going to just spend the rest on arrows, which is 34. Goodbye. Okay. Great. Well, I think we have a bit of a plan that's taking shape. I know, I completely disregarded the flying dragon ag heel. I'm okay with it. I hope you are as well. That's going to do it for this episode. Next time, I think I'm going to start by hunting some beasts, trying to get some bones, crafting some more arrows, and then we'll go uh, do a little bit of hunting of a different variety. This time, actually taking on some, some enemies and see what kind of damage we can do with the bow. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're playing yourself. And I will see you all next time.